I think our anchor has come to the front door. $1,900 worth of galvanized steel coming right up. It is like two o'clock on a Friday and we have been putzing and doing some work this morning before a very big project. We are finally getting to replacing our anchor. And if you've been following us along in the last month or so, we've just had a ton of problems with our anchor. It's been dragging. Um, it's, it's a pretty good anchor, but when the boat shifts around, it doesn't reset. So the last few weeks we've been in anchorages where we've reset like two or three times uh, when some gusts of wind have just kind of jacked the boat around a little bit. And we got sick and tired of it, so we bought a new anchor finally. We've been thinking about it for a while and just the last couple months, our whole life has 85 to 90% of our time has been spent at anchor. So there's no better time like the present to finally invest in a new anchor probably not smart to start this at two o'clock on a Friday. Sean, a little secret about him is he gets hangry very easily. So I'm gonna try to make sure he gets to eat before we do this because it might not be pretty. But yeah, we're gonna tackle the anchor, replace it, pull out all the chain, clean the chain, repaint the chain, put it back, get the new anchor on. And yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Sean, Sean has it all down. He says he knows exactly what he's doing, how to do it. I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but let's hope it goes smoothly. So here goes a new anchor for freedom, a nice squeaky clean anchor chain, all painted so we know exactly how many feet we're letting out. And let's hope it goes smoothly and we maybe get it done all today. Who knows? Let's go. You admitted to yourself that you're hangry. I'm proud of you. You've taken action. And for those wondering, I have a Rockna hat on. No, we didn't get a free anchor from Rockna. We got a free hat for buying a Rockna. So we'll wear the hat today while we do the project. Here we go. Before we can get this project started, we'll have to move Freedom up into our slip so that we can easily release the anchor and all of its chain onto the dock. Slow and steady wins the race when you're moving up in the slip. So we have an idea when we get to the end of the chain. Should I get down on the dock? No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you um, when to let more anchor out.
you gonna try to get it closer together? Ready? Yep. Okay. You just want it dangling from the bottom? Yeah, that's good. You're not going to stick me in there, are you? I might. Good idea. I hadn't thought of that. Okay, now that the anchor chain is out, next step is to wash it. Scrub it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a toothbrush for you. I want you to go in and out of every link with a toothbrush. And so, and then when you're done with that, you'll take a rag and you'll kind of dry it all, each link, one by one. <laughs> Sound good? Perfect. Is that one of those giant economy sized toothbrushes? No, just a normal one. Okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't fit through the links. All right, I got the toothbrush. I'm ready. I think that'll do. Perfect. Since we don't have a small enough toothbrush on board, I gave Elizabeth a large brush. Within a few short minutes, the chain was clean and we could move on to cleaning the anchor locker. And it'll just drain? Yeah. Hey sweetie? Yeah? Where does it drain? Uh, over here. Is it coming out? Yeah, there was a bunch that just stopped. Why is there filling up? Well, it doesn't seem like it's going. Are you doing okay in there? Is it tight? Doing okay. After a quick run through with a wet vac, I was able to unclog our anchor locker drain and finish cleaning it so it was ready for our newly painted chain. And while I had the water hose handy, I decided it was a good time to top off our water tank. So now we're going to get the mail. We're going to our car to get the anchor that's secretly been hiding in the truck for two plus weeks now. Hopefully it's still there. Then we're going to go back, paint the chain, put the anchor on, let it dry overnight, go to bed, wake up and finish the job tomorrow. Not bad. If you're wondering why we chose a Rockna anchor over others on the market, it's because of their stellar reputation, their ability to set and reset quickly, and being one of the most dependable anchors on the market. So what's she gonna do? underneath under each area that you're gonna paint you're just gonna put the plastic under those areas obviously under the, yeah, under the whole area where we're paint. now it's time to start repainting our chain depth markers in order to mask off the areas of chain that I didn't want to paint I decided to use aluminum foil I figured that this would be much easier to apply and to remove than traditional masking tape Thank you. 
Now that the chain is prepped, it's time to get to painting. For paint, I used simple Rust-Oleum spray paint, which seemed to work pretty well. To match our old markings, I'm using orange, red, and white. Orange denotes the start and the end of the chain, white represents 50 foot markings, and red represents 100 foot markings. So for example, a single white is 50 feet, a single red is 100 feet, a red with white is 150, a red red is 200, and so on. This end's gonna connect to the chain. That pin will go through the chain link. And then this end is gonna connect to the shackle. And this'll be, a lot, the chain will be a little out there. So it'll have, twist. it'll have 360 degrees of yep. swivel. Yep. So do we need a new anchor or should we just have, should we just have bought a new swivel? Uh, upgrade the anchor too. Okay, so here's all the pieces. Put the chain into the two halves. Put this pin through the hole. And then slide this forward. And then tighten that up. Like that. And then there's pieces of seizing wire that go through here to make sure this thing can't spin itself back off. Oh, I was wondering about that. Yeah. After connecting our new Mantis swivel to our anchor, it was time to check on the chain again. Unfortunately, as the paint was drying, the chain had started sticking to the plastic, so I laid down foil. But when I realized that this wasn't working either, I went with Elizabeth's suggestion of wax paper. So this project is turning in to be like so embarrassing. It's ghetto. The plastic, foil, wax paper. It's the sun went away the minute we started this project. So it's not drying quickly. So are you thinking we're gonna wait? What's what if it rains? It's like supposed to rain. Before calling it a day, I decided to spray one more coat of paint to fill in all the gaps and make sure every inch was covered. Two, we are going to check the chain, get rid of the plastic, and then get ready to put on the new anchor, officially on to Freedom, so she's not anchored at the dock anymore. It's no fun being anchored to the dock. Potatoes are done. <laughs> Does the paint seem dry? It's like a bloodbath. It's like there was a murder here last night. Uh -huh. It seems like such a shoddy way to do this, but if you guys have a really awesome trick for painting your anchor chain, let us know. We've, we've seen a couple. This, for some reason, is the, the option we chose, but if you have any good ideas for our next time, which hopefully won't be anytime soon, uh, let us know. Leave a comment below. Do you think you'd do this again? Yeah. Yeah? Not bad. Did the trick. We have a few more years of, of good paint. Chevy. Yeah, it looks good. Are you happy with it? I think so. How long do you think it'll last? A couple seasons. Only? I don't know. <laughs> well, the paint is dry, and the time has finally come to get the chain back on the boat and mount the new anchor. She's been on the dock long enough, and it's time to welcome her aboard Freedom. All right, so we're ready? Ready. She's gonna slowly bring it back up? Yeah. Okay. Should, I, should I just keep on it? Yeah, you see me struggling a little bit, just stop. Okay. Like a 
foot. One more little tap. Only thing left to do is test it out. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this and to see how the Rockna 55 performs at anchor, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and smash that like button. We'll see you at anchor.